Hi everyone, welcome to a new series, Deliver Us Mars. Following on from Deliver Us to the Moon, we take up the story. to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get to my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stop. Just pace yourself. No, I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Plus, the subject matter. Fascinating. <laughs> Father like daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. So welcome everyone to Deliver Us to Mars. Now this is t picking up from the uh, the story. Well, this is, looks like a flashback, but um, the story is from uh, Deliver Us to the Moon, uh, where we had to go up into space to basically get the whatever energy system back, pulsating wave back to Earth to actually um, be able to power all the systems on Earth because that was major issues with energy and stuff um, this is obviously I guess a bit of a flashback and we can do the tutorial we got what looks to be a little Cape Canaveral which is pretty cool does it do anything now we've got a moon man bundle uh, issue one far crossing issue two first contact written by Conrad van oh, we went too quick with the face of oh well look at that there you go Conrad that's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Um, got Star Bears. Love the haircut of Luke Skywalker there. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Um, so I'm guessing ooh, we've got a little iBot ASC1 remote control. Now, if we are Kathy. Wait for Claire to change. Yes. So last time, Deliver Us the Moon, we were Claire. Claire Johansson. So we are Claire's younger sister, it would seem. So that is that is whatever Dad Johansson's name was. Now, he was the one who generated and uh, produced, well, is that right? Discovered the way of um, transmitting the energy, wasn't he? Some funky looking... Oh, I wonder, are these... I'm trying to determine whether or not these are a bit of foreshadowing of things that we can expect or perhaps were they the adventures that Claire um, had to go through on her trial up into the moon um, a tablet ID Claire Johansson pick two school okay deadline coming up finish your document trolley problem explain today okay so Claire's in there putting her wetsuit on uh, we there we go. That's it. Connections moon with man. So that was the space station, and it sent energy back down to Earth, didn't it? Yes, it's all slowly coming back to me. But we seem to have a lovely um, residence here. This looks very nice. Thirty-seven forty-seven. You're still my center of gravity. Much love, Liz. Ah. I guess that's um, our mother. 
little love token to our father there. Oh, look at this. We are on a lake or something. We've got a little rocket as a uh, cubby house or something. That's just pretty cool. Yeah, it looks lovely. Right. Um, oh, we can run. Let's um, waddle downstairs then and see if we can... Just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Can we just hold off until the kids are done with school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. Honey, the kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Safe means something else to them. I want to give them just a bit of normalcy, okay? Right! Mummies and daddies are allowed to do this. Breaking news as we go live to the southern border of Colorado in the United States, where fighting has erupted between refugees and border troops. President Vance Anton has denounced the violence, stating that. Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Hmm, so it looks like uh, civil unrest is breaking out, probably due to the scarcities. Of um, spectacular dive, honey. scarcity of resources and stuff like that. So this is this is Mum. I seem to remember that she had died. If you remember from Deliver Us to the Moon, uh, there was a picture which Claire had drawn by Kathy. Uh, Dad had gone missing. Kathy was back on Earth, and Mum was in heaven. So obviously something happens to Mum. I don't think we ever found out what happened to Mum. But hello, Mum. Oh well, we don't get to interact with Mum, it would seem. Into our kitchen. Very nice. You're taking Moon Bear snorkeling? <laughs> yes. I know, Dad, don't worry. Come on. Okay, bye, Dad. Love you. Right. Better get in the water so, before Dad catches you. Come on. So yeah, it looks like we will be taking Kathy as the uh, the avatar for this story. Ooh, Kathy, what, we got over here? what did I say? But Moonbell wants to go snorkeling too. Bring me the bear, that you little troublemaker. <laughs> no. I swear, you get this cheekiness from your mother, not from me. Shall I give it to Dad? Should I give it to Dad? Be a good girl. No, it doesn't want it. Okay. Send me on a false errand there. Oh, look. What is that? Got a bit of a tin... Are you for a call corrugated tin dish? going across there as a bridge. Looks like we've got a factory or something. Or is it energy station? Whoop. We're in. Ooh. It goes very murky. Dad? Yeah. I'm going to get you out of there. Have we woken up? Is this okay, we were dreaming. we were... Where are we now? We're in space, are we? He's got a spacesuit on, so that's what Ayla. 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 AUC unit 7633 R. Ownership transfer authorization 170544. Isaac Johansson. Kathy Johansson. Whatever happens, you must keep Ada close to you at all times. Never let her out of your sight, alright? I've got you, I've got you. Listen, we must be very quiet, okay? No. Just listen to me. You have to go. You have to go. Outward Moon Base 2060. Okay? Can you walk? Yeah. Where's Moon Bear? We don't have time for that now, darling. I want Moon Bear. There's Moon Bear. How do I crouch? Oh, left shift. Left crouch. Sorry. There's Moon Bear. Found it. Great. Now, now come to me. I need your help, Moon Bear. Right. Well, what's this cool stuff going on in here, Dad? Ooh, There's look. There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Request conditions have been met. MPT Moon connectors Bear. have been re-established. Auto wake. Um, cryopod, Isaac Johnson, you're yeah, activated. Sorry, what was it you wanted me to do, Dad? Oh, 
Red button. Boop. That's it. Okay, it's time to go. Hi. What's happening, Dad? Oh. Why are we sneaking? Stay low, darling. Don't see you. Oh, who are the red people? What is okay, going on? Listen carefully, darling. In the room on the other side of the vent up there is Ace. Rose's Ace? Yes, we need to take him with us and get him back to her. Ace likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay? Okay. It's a little bit sus, Dad, but okay. I'll do this. I'll do some child labour. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? Let's tell the team we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Ace. Ace, it's me. Hi. Follow me. Come on. So what, we're making a runner and the other groups are not coming with us and that's why this is conflict has kicked off, is it? Here he is. It's a bit slow. What oh. are you doing? ASC unit number 67354-N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 177544. What is going on? Ace isn't like this. It's okay. He doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. I've got to hurry. They're probably looking for us now. Dad, my legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. All right. So we've got two robots now. We're going to drop Moon Bear. What is going on? Claire? Kathy? Claire? Claire. Dad! Why are we running away from our that sister? Yeah, good question. What? What is going on? Two robots are still coming. Why are we running, Dad? What What have you done? Where are we what going? Have you done? We're going to Albert Moon there together. Right. Oh, you can take the shit that they want. Why isn't Peter's door open? Come on. Come on. Can we open the door for them? Well, I'm, I'm conflicted. If we do, then our dad is going to be taken away from us. Dad? I need to get that door open. Follow me. Quick. Oh, the, op the option's gone. We waited too long. Uh, Dad, you're not being a very good father right now, running away from me. I'm your, uh, your only... Well, not your only daughter. But I'm the only one you seem to like because you've run away from Claire. Get to the door, I'm... I'm almost through. Come on. I mean, come on, Dad. Oh, I'm over. Moon bear down. Moon bear down. Repeat. Moon bear down. Is that Claire? Dad! A bit late now. Stop! What is wrong with this child? Get up. Oh, my sister's got a... No! What's going on? Let me go! Alert. Launch sequence initiated. Clear blast chamber. Oh, 
Oh, I guess this was preordained, wasn't it? Because as we were Claire in the previous uh, game, we know Isaac went missing. So this must be the moment he goes missing. So we're going to have to explore the um, the reason why our dad went missing, I guess. Back to the control room. And it's obviously got something to do with Mars. Transmission from another planet turns Kathy's life upside down. Interesting. Now we are in a dry and dusty environment. We'll be back on Earth. Okay, eight years later, and here we are, slightly older, grown up, working a job as an engineer or something. What Still think, the same Ada? haircut. Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> It's the moon. We must be on Earth then. Are you done yet? I feel like you should have been done ages ago. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. Hmm? No, I'm good. Besides, I wouldn't be much help anyway. Right. You're right. You wouldn't. As an MPD systems are converged. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPD dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're old? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? I already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the receivers. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah, no idea what they're just talking about. But um obviously this is one of the energy. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is so. This is the uh, cause the moon is directly above us. You can't really see it very well, but you see this. The energy is coming through now. So this is how they transceive energy. And our father was the one who 
who came up with the idea of how this is to transmit the energy or or something along those lines anyway he was he was a founder of the energy system stuff all right fortunately it collects with sand but apart from that it's all groovy um man, a ladder here this is how we get down Looks like a... Is that a launch site? Looks like a rocket launch site over there. Oh, is that the lake our house is on? We did... Uh, okay. So uh, that, that that lake is... Yeah, where the um, thing is. Uh, I've got to jump up there, do I? Bit of a tutorial thing then. Right, cut. Okay, I've got a... Got a, we've got a laser cutter. I've got to cut some metal away from the... Um, whatever this is to free it up so there's obviously going to be a mechanic where we need to do some um no oh, just at the top metal removal or cutting or something like that there we go jobs are good and all right now let's get the stream points hooked up and then we're done let's get the stream points hooked up right okay i'll just follow the system, believing that this is going to be a tutorial, so we'll f figure this out as we go. Keep going down here. Anything? These consoles are not on. Oh, something over there. It looks like a, oh, it's a toolkit. I don't think, maybe, no. Maybe, maybe no. No. Aha, what's over there? No, it looks like a chill pad with a couple of drinks and yeah. Maybe watching rocket speed launch. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? Uh no, I don't think there's much here. Let's go down another layer uh level. Yes we can. Uh, let's follow the um the wire, I guess. That's continuing to go down. Let's follow it around then. And it comes down into there. Let me hook up these stream points and I'll be right there. Alright, that's the dude waiting for us. Okay, hook up these stream points. Cut. Open the trap door, and we've got a... Oh, is this like a beam direct? Oh, okay. Uh, what do we need to fire this at, then? Oh, I see. So it's... Before stream tech. There Must you go. A mess of cables snaking screen around tech. entire living rooms. I remember it well. Good times. Good times, okay. indeed. Just got to find the receiver point to connect it oh, to. Oh, there we go. Is that one? Ooh. Oh, we need that one done as well. Wait. Okay. So if I remove that one, that will that door close? Or is it open now, now that I've opened it? No, it's closed. Okay. Okay. I understand what we got to do. If I point this one, and that one over there, and then we can just cross the streams. Never cross the streams. We can cross the streams. There we go. Happy days. The gates are open. Puzzle solved. Hello, dude. How big is our car? You look tiny. You're very, you're very short, man. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller Cascrain antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Yep. Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Uh-huh. Now you're just making up words. Hop on. 
Hop on. I'm not allowed to get in the vehicle. Fine. Okay, second part of the intro. We're still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving me beer. Bless. Listen, your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello. Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? Oh, that must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. Fine. <laughs> I know that fine. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then just, you know... I... Like civil arrest and people are now in like a little shanty town. Is this outside our base? WSA, yeah. Wassa! There's no um, security, considering how tight. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, this is your stop. Is no one's it? manning the security post. Just let the grown-ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay, that was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I Probably. Will. That sounds like our next mission. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're going to do it. Whee. See you later. <laughs> the robot gets ejected up. All right, let's go find another way into Maria's office. Yeah, I thought so. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. This place looks pretty deserted, doesn't it? Ah, oh, here we go. It's people. Hello, people. I am young person. You're handsome. Okay. Oh, I can scan them, apparently. What can I scan? Can I scan him? What did I scan? Pizza? I'm not sure. Alright, hello. Can we go into the secret mission, please? No? Okay, let's we'll break our way in. It's pretty cool. Yeah, here's the posters, the WSA, and there's those pictures again. Interesting. Uh, the Wasa? The museum. Yeah, we can cut through here to Maria's. Oh, okay. Might be fun okay. to have a look around too. Yeah. I've been here in ages. What's well, that noise, Isla? More of those pictures. Looks like a moon buggy. That looks awesome. Looks like no one has. Wow. Oh right, so that's that's uh Murica and the Southern Murica. Um and this is obviously what it looks like now. It looks like des more deserts and arid and what's happened in uh Oh, sea levels rising. Is that what they're trying to portray there? Okay. In 
1941, the Lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yield. That's what Claire did. After the great blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, no, that, sorry, Robinson that was what Claire did. made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT. Yeah, the MPT. Life in the process. WSA really is trying their best to help our world with their energy needs. I'm sure we'll get to help the entire population someday. Yeah. Got a hand solo? Still in carbonite? Maybe, maybe not. Rocket, what have we got here? Ah, is this the uh, the energy space station which sends it back to Earth? Is that microwave power technology? Is a revolutionary microwave power technology MPT? Yes. The lunar MPT, along with the forty-two Earth-based MPT receivers, helped stop the growing energy crisis of the twenty thirties. MPTs. My jam. Yeah. I was absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Ooh, look at this. The journey's end. Betrayal. The reactor. Tombray evacuation. Journey ends. Is that Claire's spacesuit? It's like the one Claire used to have as the moon buggy, harvesting helium. After the great blackout catapulted the Earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson, under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. Claire really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. Oh, it was Johansson, I thought it was... Oh, sorry, it was, um, Rolf, was it? I thought, no, I'm sure it was Claire. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, scan. Rolf's spacesuit. Here we go, tab. Oh, it was the globe I scanned. Ah. Rolf's spacesuit is from the moon. The journey... This outfit has gone through. It can only be dream of being part of such a legendary mission. Well, maybe, maybe we might get lucky. After the success of Mission Fortuna, Claire Johansson spearheaded Mission Vestia to provide manpower to the Lunar MPT and bring Rolf's body back home. Ah. Claire and her team discovered WSA software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Isaac Johansson one of the three Lunar Council members and core outward instigators took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. Oh. I'm fine. Just remembering it always feels... I'm fine. Oh, so, so the Ark, wasn't that a spaceship with thousands of people in cryo chambers? Wow, okay. There's Rolf. Well, it's space suit anyway. Outward. Uh, who are these people? Parky? Charlie Yeo? Torbin Faf? Nico1664? Ah, oh, these like, um... I wonder if these are uh, backers of the project. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just exploring because it's kind of re reminding me of what's gone on before. So uh, I think that's our, supposed to be our dad, isn't it? That must be Rolf. Oh, it does say underneath. I see Johnson. Um, William. MacArthur and Rose. Lavaro. They are the three council members, are they? Devised by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all moon base residents on board three large spacefaring vessels. Ah, Mars. okay, so it's... Th the location of the traitorous council members, as well as the rest of the moon base crew, remains unknown. My dad oh. designed and built most of the arts that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. So... 
Rosa, William, and Isaac were all traitorous. So they took the three. Each one of them captain the one of the Ark ships. Is that what we're saying? Well, they started up another colony somewhere. Well, who's that? Who are you? Somebody's watching. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Right, take over the computer, the, the robot. Uh. Are we well, in? Worth a try. Oh no, we're not. Oh, hi, Mark. Ah, oh, basic security in any building these days. Don't let somebody go through the door when you've gone through. Ah, who do we have here? Action hero, who's this? Oh, this is Rolf Robertson. Maria Gonzalez. Ah, her voice was she was the she was in the previous one, wasn't she? Claire Johansson, our sister. Looking good, sis. And Sarah Baker, the software engineer that she helped. They really need to change these. I like nothing like that anymore. Are you joking? You look so good still. Is that Sarah? Thanks, I try. You? Trying anything? Yeah, right. That's rude. I just, I meant that, like, Thanks. you never had to Come on, Alex. try. Oh, I see. I, 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 it, was a, it was a kind of a compliment, but badly executed. Are you headed to Maria's office? Oh, uh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way, so. Yeah, we are, so, you know. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission for Tuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. Why do you walk so slow? How long were you actually stationed on the moon? I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? I think when we're I did probably... software upgrades for Rosa's ASE. Oh, yeah, ACE. No, ASE. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean... <laughs> I named it ACE because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ACE, and Rosa would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Good chat. Right. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yours is named Alex, right? Uh, where are you headed to? Wait, wait, you didn't answer my question yet. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want the heroes with the Force Cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting, Kat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but... There's a lot going your on. Your dad and the Leader trying Council to put together. did, they, they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against... Humankind uh, and our planet. They deserve to be punished for what so they've done. So the three council members took advantage, got the Ark spaceships, no. No. Thanks to and they've both gone off and left everyone else not back. Be to see you here. Hi, Claire. I made it this far. You might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's going to be on video. You no. Know. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. We totally did. Okay, like he's with rebel. Sarah. Let's go. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Right, so Thanks. why did the Lunar Council take all the... Is it like the, the brightest and the best and the brightest, put them in the arcs and then take them off to Mars, I'm guessing, due to the title of this game? Um... And they left the Earth to die? Is that what they're saying? 
But why would Isaac... Obviously, he didn't want to leave Kathy, but why would he leave Claire? Why would he leave his kids? He just wouldn't, would you? Mm -hmm. There are times when you, oh, you wouldn't mind a bit of peace and quiet, but, you know, you still wouldn't do that. Okay. My cutting is not the best. Right. Where are we going? Cut our way through this bit of wreckage. Not quite sure I need to. Still more to cut. Okay. Don't know why we had to cut all of that. Oh look, there's like a space shuttle nose cone and cockpit. Where are we going? We're going up there. Um Oh, I see. There we go. Uh, are we jumping up there? Yep, okay. Now where we go? Ah, here we go. Control Ayla. Okay, we'll send the robot down into the vent. Oh, okay, we're going to spy. Gotcha. Okay, nope. Where are we going? Where are we going? Here we go. Absolutely certain. All right, Maria's on video call. So it must be them. Find a just fine mission opera then? Yes. Mission opera? Since we pulled Sarah and Kathy from the moon, we've been formulating a contingency plan should we discover our location. During mission Vestia, we found indications that the three art vessels Albert used to leave the moon weren't just for transportation. Our information leads us to believe these three art actually form a trine. It was a trine. Oh. But why reach out? Why now? Is it a distress signal or an invitation? Doesn't matter. Mission Opera has only one objective. Bring the Arcs and their revolutionary technology back home. I see. So those three ships join up and they got like a Death Star or something. Have an effect on Ayla. Ayla? What are you... Is that some sort of message? Moon bear. Moon bear. Moon bear. Moon bear. Rising CO2 levels are 
levels are killing off a myriad of species of flora and fauna every week. Uh -huh. The truth of the matter is that our home is becoming just as uninhabitable as any other planet. We need those arcs. Now. Claire, I need you to lead this mission. Assemble a team and bring those arcs back. You have a few months to prep. We cannot afford further delay. I understand. I'd like to start by including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? It doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy is the most talented individual the WSA is working for them. Well, how about that? Apart from you two. And me, of course. We're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors How involved. Hey, hey, Maria. Hey, hey, Maria. Can I come in, please? Seriously? Please, Claire, let me be a part of the mission. Were you eavesdropping? Yeah, and I'm sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. Plus, there's only like, what? Three other trained astronauts to choose from, so. <laughs> I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. However, the final say is yours, of course. Okay, Kathy. Even though look, Ryan's last argument was severely lacking, yeah. Ouch. I believe you'll do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now... Kathy. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Looks like we're going to space, boys. You all snug in there, Ayla? You need anything? Cup of coffee? Magazine? You diva. Nervous. 
And that amuses you? No, no. But seeing you, you're... Proud. <clears throat> hey. That scar on Sarah's stomach, is, is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Hmm, okay. Knock, knock. I could, don't remember that, but obviously Sarah got attacked by Let's Isaac. Go. Right. Let's go to space. Do you see? We're heading to the rocket now. <laughs> right. Here we go. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah, sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. We got like a. Oh no, it's a bus. I thought it was like a little subway something or anything. Hi guys, what are we waiting for? First on, okay. Happy to go on. Who you got? Oh, you're there. Okay, I thought I thought they'd all left me. <laughs> oh, push the button. Let's sit down. You guys joining me? Yeah, good. Johansson Here at the go. front. Everyone else at the back. No turning back. Here we go then. Cool. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. Yeah, okay. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. Oh, hello. No. But considering the amount of time. Ooh. Oh. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Oh wow, look at them all. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't mm. understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Yeah. Or they won't. Or they won't, yeah. I mean, they might. And I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen. Even if we do bring back the arts. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul uneasy and confined from home dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this view. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Never ceases to amaze, right? That is our spaceship. You couldn't build her properly. What do you mean? What? <laughs> With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. Now you're telling you me? this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? Yeah. No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before we're taking off. Seemed only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. If Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Zephyr 3. Okay. I'm a little bit uh, nervous now. Thanks for that, Claire. Built on a budget? Well, I think everything always is, isn't it? But... What could possibly go wrong? Right, we're in. So it is. <laughs> okay, I'll push the buttons, I'll do the honors. Boop. It's my first time. Up we go. Let's see the rocket, are we? Oh yeah, there we go. 
Look at that beast. Our home over there, then somewhere. Maybe still going up. Ah, there's the top. Well, that was a bit of a, a bit of a bump at the end, wasn't it? Okay. There's the dish we worked on moments ago. Well, this was six months ago or whatever it was. Okay, I'll be I'll get the first honours. Oh climbing into the cockpit, look at this. Strapping in. Oh, hello. Oh, we're, oh we got the back seat. Launch sequence initiated. Cool. Opera team, this is ground control. Proceed with final checks. Copy so GC. Opera team comms check. Go. 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 Oh. Go. Cat. Systems check. Oxygen. Oh, what? Uh, oxygen. Oxygen is go. Oxygen Flight. is go. Flight is go. Flight is go. Navigation. Is go. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer go. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel. Fuel is go. go. Liquid oxygen. Go. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Is go. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Oh, okay. Ryan, somebody. airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Over to you, Ryan. Phew. I've, I've got to do some stuff. I've got lots of buttons here. Go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Cat, strong back retract. What? Strong. Uh, sure. Oh, strong back retract. He's go. Oh, it's the, okay. I had no idea what I'm talking about now. I feel I should add some training before. Strong coming. back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. That's not us again. Good. I, d I thought I was just going to have a nice... Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Okay. Not for us. I thought sequencer I was just going to have a, a nice little sit back here and... Um... Cat, track orbiter access arm. Yeah, sure. DNA. Just move it to the side, do we? Orbiter access arm is retracted. Yep. Copy. Start auxiliary power units. APU? Is that me? That is me. Oh, I see. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Retract gases, oxygen, ventar. Is that me again? Yes. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, put it, put it, okay, put it to there. Uh, um. Ah, okay, it had to be zero. Oh, good, it's me. That was tricky. Beanie cap retracted. Off the team. Visors down. Go. 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 Cap. Orbit to transfer from ground to internal power. Oh, this is becoming stressful. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. There are activated launch pads down the pressure. We've still got a lot of checklists to go. 
Okay. Solid fuel thrusters stop. Yep. Yeah. Go. Solid fuel thrusters are a go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Gauge. Punch it, Chewy. Oh, we going? Come on, baby, hold together. So far, so good. But nothing to gauge it against. These different stages of thrust fire, maybe. So we're coming to the top of the atmosphere. Tell it was built to the budget, rattling a bit. Max Q coming up. Max Q coming up. As we're coming to, uh, well, outer fringes of the. Are we blacking out? Oh, there we go. We in space? Not quite. Stage one separation. Stage one separation initiating. There he goes. Copy. Initiate second stage ignition. Punch it. Go. The second stage throttles up. Go. Here we go. Oh, it's smooth right here. There's no wind resistance or anything. Whew. This is nice. Oh, I thought something outside. It's, it's Moonbear. Now we're in space. Wow. Ah, oh, there's the planet. And you can see it's looking dry and... Yeah, crusty. And I guess we're going to... What, we're going to slingshot the, uh, the... The gravity to... Um, Head off to uh, Mars. Is that steam or smoke supposed to be coming out there? Just venting gas, maybe? Yeah, 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 stop that. Good. Cutting off, second engine. <sighs> second stage separation. Second stage separation initiating. Boom. Get the hang of this away. now. And it's gone. Cruise most successfully initiated. Yay. Cool. Well, that's a sight. Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or...? Only like five a day. Oh, good. Wanna see something cool? Maybe I need skateboards. You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... 
Oh, wow, old school, huh? Oh, he's showing us. Moon pig. Has he got a family? You look excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment. Sorry. Just look. Oh, it is a window. Look at all the satellites and the debris floating around. Zephyr. I'm not going to sing right away on my Zephyr. No. Resist the temptation. Oh really? How long are we going to be on Mars? This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? Yeah, absolutely. Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. You're right there. Yeah. Spacebar, left control to dive. Uh, okay. Flashback. Oh, hello, Dad. Where are we swimming then? This is. Is this supposed to be the lake behind our house? It's a bit, um. Corally. It is coral. It doesn't look like bubblegum at all. No. Well, well, it, it probably did back in the day when they named it. <laughs> you want to give it a new name? Um, peep coral. Of course. Why did I even ask? <laughs> you know, Mum loved diving too. Ah, uh, Mum's died at this, this point. point. Salam. You heard that too, right? Yes. I'm in the cockpit checking the diagnostics. Meet me here? Sure. Okay. So that was obviously our bit of space flight training, swimming around. Control center. And we, don't, we haven't actually been around here, so we just got to try and... Is this the cockpit? Cockpit, yeah, it is. Cool. We're trying Hello. to see why the ACA didn't spot the debris. It should have. I need eyes on to determine the damage. Bang. I'll perform an EVA and let you know, GC. Copy. Did the thruster get hit? Probably. Could you keep an eye on the diagnostics? I'll get ready. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do it. Look, I need real life experience out there. Of all the EVAs we could have, this one is pretty safe, right? I mean, I could just casually mention my stellar extravehicular activities training score. No, it's fine. I think it was 94. Mine was 95. See, you're so much better with numbers. Best you monitor the diagnostics. Fine. Just 
Be very careful. We're still in orbit, so watch out for debris. Got it. Get prepped at the airlock, and I'll yep. guide you on comms. Okay, we're doing a moonwalk, are we? Or a spacewalk? You going in here? If you find yourself drifting, use your thrusters to correct, and quickly double-check the latch of your left nozzle controller. And when I've double-checked it, Claire. I'm fine. We're good. I don't think you really double-checked. Claire, I've got this. We've got a zoom, I didn't realise that. Egress out of the airlock. Egress out of the airlock. Oh, look at that. There we go. Oh, we were above. Oh, that looks like a. We hit something. Yeah. So, what's all this from, anyway? Satellites, mission related debris, even pieces from Sarah's office. Oh, look at the heat shield. Kids from space station. From when Rolf survived the breach during the moon mission. Do we go and check it? Um, kind of Scan it. Well, Debris from Pearson on. Space Station. <laughs> right, so Thanks. First. What can you see? Is there any damage to the thruster? I can't go in. Um, what's the spaceship? No, it looks okay, I think. I'm no expert. Got a nice window back here, though. Oh, no. Yes, we've got debris in the... Uh, yes. There's a huge bit of debris stuck in the thruster. Could be from the space station. Okay. Oh dear. Is the plating around the base of the thruster damaged? I have no idea. It's seen oh. better days, but it's holding together. That bit there. What about the pipes around the thruster? Uh, that one's shot. They're pretty badly bent. Okay. They'll need to be cut away if we want the thruster to be semi-functional. Is the thruster still receiving power? Uh, is this the power? It looks like no. It is. Oh, it is. Shut off the power lines before you do anything else. There's a big button in the hatch. Just press it. And you're good to go. Yep, okay. yep. And watch out for the fuel canisters. If you hit one of those while you're cutting it, well, don't, please. What do they look like? The big yellow canisters. Do you see them? Uh, yep. I see them. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Very careful. Very careful. Okay. Turn the power off and begin the debris removal. Roger, Wilco. Uh, big button. Yep, there you go, we're good. Right. Let's go and cut some of this out then. Sunken space station in the bay behind our house. No. Why? I was just thinking about you. Did Dad ever take you swimming there when you were young? He did, but not when I was that young. What do you mean? Well, never mind. So, anybody fancy back home? Wait, what? Ryan? You're not Sarah, I don't care. Apparently not. Least of all that they're married. You can still have feelings for someone despite the circumstances. I don't know, with everything that's going on with the world, we need to talk about this often. Do you ever think about... Keep your mind on the mission, Claire, for heaven's sake. I'm out in space trying to cut some... Yes, absolutely. Blimey. It's almost coming loose. There we go. Big bits disengaged. Um, I've got some more here. Do I have to go into the thruster? Oh, this is a bad idea. Don't know why. Don't like the fact that I've got to go in here. Can I get under it? Oh, I've got another one there, look. Oh, hang on, I'm a little bit slow down. I'm all over the place with this cutter. Doesn't seem to be cutting particularly well. Did you give me the blunt cutter? <laughs> oh, it's good, it's good, got it. 
don't seem to be able to... There we go. Got some holes in it. Oh, I've got another one here. I'll do that from the outside. I don't like being inside the thruster. That seems dangerous. Oh, hang on. I have to come in from a different angle. Oh, got lucky I didn't get pierced the other one as well. There we go. I think we're free of junk. It's empty. I've got something just sticking out here. There we go. Right. It's done. Okay. Yep. Good job. Turn the power back on and I'll run a diagnostic. On it. Cool. Right. Brilliant. Right, there we go. Thruster repaired. Well, debris removed. No. Uh Is that how we do it? No. Do we gotta Okay, I don't know don't... Ah. Ah, oh, it was a sequence. There we go. Job done. Power's back on. Running diagnostic now. And we're good. Okay. Great job, Pia. Head back inside. And carefully. Yes. Yes, Claire. <laughs> well, look at the scrape marks. Cool. Well, there we go. First space walk. Success. Hey, save the day. Oh, we're back underwater. Ah. Oh, this is the space station she was talking about, was it? Oh, there's Dad. So a space helmet. Ooh. Into the murk we go. Oh, bit of a current there. Here. Cockpit. Oh. That's how it is. Oh, into the cockpit we go then. Let's play. Can we sit down. Oh, we can play. Oh, whoa. We're sliding over the edge. We're having an abyss moment. Cappy. 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 
Oh, okay. So we had childhood traumas with dad raising us. Where are we? Oh, there's bed. Oh, it's our bed. Okay. We're awake. Control center. Torpor room. What's that? Oh, is that like cryo chambers? Oh, hello. Torpor pod. These are spent six years in one of these back on the moon. I remember how weird it feels. Wake after so long. The very uh, specific kind of torpor tube. So, sorry, torpo sleep in these pods really messes with your head. Ah, interesting. Okay. It's like a. Let's uh, head back to the cockpit then. Uh, this is Sarah. Uh, don't tell her. Why not? If she knows where the word comes from, I will not hear the end of it. Why? It's still a cool TV show. Oh, yeah. It's ancient. Kathy will have field day calling me old. Babe, we are old. I'm not that old. Haha, -ha, sure thing. In the zaddy. Yeah, I don't know. Too much of a boomer to know. Sarah to Ryan is reading their messages. Hey! I'll just put up the heat shield. Mars! That's cool. That's seriously cool. A little bit of jiffling going on. Uh, what now? Oh, it's a red. Same thruster. How bad is it? Bad. Red sis. light, bad. One broken thruster can send us completely off course. I'll suit up. Let me do it. I'm already out of torpor. No, it's much too dangerous. Claire, we have to act fast. I'm going. Please be careful. I'll head to the cockpit to guide you. Copy. I didn't realise the others were in the torpo tubes. I, I didn't even look in them. Alright, we're going on another space. Well, this time we've got OT depleting. Our oxygen is getting low. Alright, we're heading back to... Where's, let's have a look at Mars. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Alright, where's this damage? Oh yes. I think we can salvage this thruster. It's, it's got worse. Damage. Diagnostics say the same. You'll have to cut it away. Okay. In this state, it's a bigger liability if it stays attached to the ship. Copy. Turn the power off before you do. Yeah, yeah. We've done this before. We're not. This is not. Oh, that looks damaged. Uh. Claire, I can't turn the power off from here. Okay. You need to cut the power cable connected to the thruster. Okay. You haven't seen my aim though, Claire. That's the thing. I'm through. Do we need that? Probably not. Right, now the tricky part. You need to cut the thruster from the ship. Slow and steady. Copy. Right, okay. There's like fuel cells underneath though. Right, we're cutting just above the. F Who put the welding lines just where the blooming fuel cells are? That's like a. You're asking for trouble, aren't you? I mean, seriously. Okay, it's working. I haven't incinerated any of us yet. What are these things I gotta cut? I have no idea, but they ping off quite easily. Oh, oxygen's getting low. Do not zap the fuel tanks or the 
whatever those canisters are. Oh, ping me almost out, out into space. Gotta be careful then. These can ping off and be dangerous. Whoa! Did I hit one of the things? Was that a stage event? Was that always going to happen? Maybe. Uh oh. Get control, Mav. Get control. Yeah, back under control. Thrust is off. Oxygen is low. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm coming. Uh oh. Oh no. Coming in hot. Ah, don't miss it. <laughs> Almost messed that up. 